What's up my visible PD peeps? Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the invisible cloak effect using the PowerDirector video editor app. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. The invisible cloak effect can make your subject disappear just like a wizard in a Harry Potter movie. And with a few simple steps, you'll be able to pull it off in your next video. To make this effect, you need to use a tripod to record two clips, one with no one in the shot and one with the subject pulling the cloak over their head. Make sure your camera and tripod are in the same exact position with the same lighting. The cloak should be a green screen and you should use a different colored sheet inside of it. That way you can see the sheet before it's pulled over the subject's head. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's make somebody go away. First, we need to bring our background to the main video track. So you want to tap on the media icon. You want to go to the video tab. Go to the location on your device where your video is. Tap that video and tap the plus sign and it'll add it to the main track. Then you want to tap back and tap back. Next, we need to add the footage of the subject pulling the green screen over their head. So you want to add that to the overlay track by tapping on the overlay icon. Then you want to tap your video tab. Go to the location on your device where that video is, tap the video, tap the plus sign, and it'll add it to your overlay track. Then you wanna tap back and tap back. Next, we wanna increase the scale of the clip on the overlay track so that it lines up with the background clip, which is on your main track. So go ahead and tap on the overlay clip. And then you wanna go ahead and tap on opacity. And we're gonna change the opacity to 50 and we're gonna do this so that we can see both of the clips at the same time. Now that we can see both of the clips, I'm gonna tap on the empty track. Then I'll go ahead and tap on the clip again. And I'll go ahead and hold my finger over one of these nodes and I'll drag this out so it scales it up. Now that I got it scaled up, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on opacity again. And I'm gonna change my opacity back to 100. And then I'm gonna tap back. Next thing that you want to do is trim off the unwanted parts of your clip. So we'll go ahead and trim the front of this off. We can just hold our finger over this front section that's white with a little line in it and drag it back. And then we'll trim some off the end. We'll hold our finger over the end and we'll drag it back in. And now we want to go ahead and tap on the empty part of the timeline because we want to move this clip back to the beginning. So we're going to hold our finger over this clip until we see that yellow bounding box and then we'll drag it to the beginning and let it go. Next, we want to go ahead and use the chroma key here to make the subject disappear. So we're going to go ahead and tap on the clip on the overlay track. We're going to tap on chroma key. We're going to tap on the eyedropper tool and then we'll tap on part of the image that's green. We're gonna use a color range to try to get it as clean as possible. And we're gonna go ahead and take some of the noise out with the denoise tool. And then we're gonna go ahead and tap back and see what this looks like here. So it's pretty much disappeared, but you can still see a little bit around it. It's not fully off the screen yet. So to pull this off, we wanna go ahead and add a fade to make it look more realistic. And we wanna add a fade to the end so that it just fades off the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on fade and we're gonna tap on fade out and then we'll tap back and we'll bring our playhead to the beginning of the timeline and we'll play this back to see what it looks like. I ain't seen nothing. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link to try out the Power Director app in the video description. I know you want more power direct to love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my logo to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.